Alright, so we just got done hunting tonight. Um, hit a nice buck. Uh, we're going to track it a little bit. A couple things I want to touch base on. Um, so before the season, 2014 season, we ended up setting up food plots for this farm that I had. Um, we ended up getting trail cam pictures of three different bucks, one being a 10 pointer and two nines. Um, we have velvet footage of this buck. Jake and Aaron Zimmerman, we went out and ended up getting some footage of these bucks coming to a bean field. I had a pretty good idea where these bucks were bedded. Um, they were moving during the daylight before the season, as well as opening weekend till about the second weekend of September. But they ended up disappearing on us for about two or three weeks. And uh, tonight, one of them showed up. So this buck, I believe I passed up last year. Uh, I passed up a couple nice bucks last year. Two and a half, one, three and a half. Trying to get them to get to that age. Um, also, the other nine pointer, uh, the G2 buck I called him. We've found his shed from last year. We also uh, had pictures of him this year. So he showed up, he's one of the bucks we passed up last year, two and a half. This year, three and a half, you can see he gained a lot more mass and some height with it. So coming into the season, we were pretty happy. We were pretty looking forward to, you know, getting after these bucks. And sure enough, you know, October, October 4th came around. All right, it's October 4th. I hope I a duck hunting. Decided to come out bow on this evening. Give it a try. Um, so far, nothing really has been showing up on camera. Mostly nocturnal stuff kind of disappeared on me in September. So we had a cold front come through. The last two days it's been raining. Been windy. Today has been a nice, nice cold day. The wind should die down here. Something good should happen. So stay with us. Me. Not sure how big he is, but uh, he's a nice ten. He's nothing, nothing huge, but he was making a scrape, and I, I couldn't get him in the camera. He's down the fence line. Uh, probably only 25 yards. Just making scrapes all the way down the fence line. He came down. And, uh, <coughs> I had to stop him. I couldn't. I don't know if I got him on video or not, but hopefully uh, stay with us for tracking. I'm good. You got it? So there's the blood there. Alright, so uh, shot the buck so far, found our arrow. Now we're going to go tracking for it and uh, see what happens. Look at that blood coming out of there. He's stumbling. 
on that tree up there too, yeah. or no? Yeah, that's it. That's not good. That's that G3, ain't it? Oh, it is. Look at him. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, baby. That's a bad one there. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, there it is. <laughs> he goes, that's not good. <laughs> oh, he just that's a nice buck. Not bad. Not velvet bad footage buck. of him. Here we got him. Got velvet footage of that buck? Yep. Yep. He's nice. Decent mass on him. Good hit. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, blood yeah. trail is amazing. A little high, but man, he's been dead a while. Look at, I mean, yeah, he's he's, he's smoking right away. He, ran he never started. stopped. You could tell he never stopped. Yeah. Yeah, he, he started stumbling in there. Where I mean, right here, look at. Trees. You know where Jake kept saying, "Look up on the tree. Look up on the tree." He was stumbling there. Oh, that's a nice buck. He's a heavy son. Wait, watch, watch yourself. Yeah. Want to hand him up? Not bad. Good brows. Yeah, he's got a nice brows. I told you, I'm like, this, I got a lot of, this guy's been moving a lot during the day. Yeah. <laughs> you got enough of them little ones. <laughs> <laughs> so hard on you. Good. All right, uh, video was pretty short last night. Uh, seen one deer. This is the only deer I saw. Uh, October fourth is opening a duck hunting that day. I decided to go out. Go hunting that evening. Just, it was about 6:30. I heard uh, I heard this buck making a scrape, just ra just raking this tree right down. And I couldn't get any video of him. He's in a fence line there, and, and too brushy to get a camera on him. So I just had to put it in the opening there. And luckily he stopped where I had my camera because I didn't reposition it. But shot him. Thought it was a little high. Looked at the video again. It's a pretty good hit. Uh, went after him about two hours later, and here we are now.